when the doctor called, I was at work. I went to the back room and took about a half hour to get myself together. And it just felt like my world just stopped. Everything else outside of that just seemed to keep rolling. My name is Bill, I'm 54 years old. I do large scale computer repair, I've been doing it for 35 years. Back in 2013, about a week before Thanksgiving, I went into the bathroom in the morning to shave and put my head back. I noticed a little lump on my neck. And the wife says, you better go get that checked out. So I went to the doctor and they sent me to your nose and throat, got a scan and did a biopsy. Came back and they said it was a uh, squamous cell carcinoma. So it was uh, about a couple days before Christmas, I went in for a procedure so they could find the source of my cancer. They found it in my left tonsil and they came back and said it was caused by HPV. So that was a total shock to me. I never heard like, what's HPV? I thought about it and I know my two daughters when they were young, they both got the vaccinations. So right away I went out and got my son vaccinated. I know there's a lot of negative press out there for the vaccination, but I would recommend getting a vaccination over what I went through. My first treatment was radiation for six weeks, twice on Fridays. And I also got a drug called Cetuximab. Cetuximab made me break out real bad and like these little pimple things that are very itchy here on my face, real bad in my hair. And the radiation caused blisters inside my throat. So after about four radiation treatments, I couldn't eat anymore. So I lived on boost, seven boosts a day for three and a half months. That's the only thing I had. Get up in the morning, boost in the morning all day long. So yeah, it was, it was rough. Lost 25 pounds. About three months after my initial treatment was my first CAT scan, went in. Doctor says, everything looks great, looks great. It was a Friday afternoon. So we were like, yahoo, yahoo. On Monday, I got a call from the doctor saying, we found a six millimeter spot on your one lung. Don't worry about it, could be anything. So I went back in three months and got the bad news. She says, well, I'm metastasized to your lungs. The spot doubled and you have multiple spots now. I says, so what's that mean? She says, well, with normal treatment, you have about a year. She started talking about these two clinical trials she had. And I mean, my mind wasn't thinking anything at that point. And she started talking PD-1 and T cells, and it was all, I, nothing was going in my ears at that point. So she kept on saying this one trial, I think we should push for. So she gave me a day to think about it. And at that point I'm thinking, well, I wasn't thinking that the clinical trial was gonna help me. I thought I was helping other people by testing out this drug for them. So we agreed on the Tempro trial. So I was the second and the last person to get in. So I was very lucky. I would go in, they'd give me a blood test, start the infusion. And within a half hour, I was walking out the door. I had no different feelings at all. I felt normal when I came out. When I was on the Pembro, the only thing that changed is my thyroid slowed down. So they gave me a medication for that, but that could have been caused from the radiation treatment too. So it was probably a mixture of both. Other than that, I had no other side effects on the drug at all. I've been off the drug now since last September. I was on it for two years, every three weeks. As of May, no evidence of disease. It's all gone. You know, since I've been feeling great, we've been, you know, traveling a little more, camping a little more, uh, enjoying life a little more. Back in 2010, my wife actually gave me a book, A Thousand Places You Need to Visit Before You Die. Now, this was all before my diagnosis, and we've been going through that book and checking them off. I think funding this research is very important because even the drug that I was on just didn't fix my cancer. It's fixing other types of cancers, and that's only one drug. Immunotherapy is a real breakthrough. I mean, they're so close to conquering this thing and keep the funding going and let's get this thing knocked out of the way.